All right, for this tutorial, I'm going to place a, an image on my workspace. I'm going to place this image right here. And I'm going to go over to an app called Depth Text. So I'm going to go into my apps and I'm going to search here Depth. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to click it and I'm going to come down and I'm just going to choose. You can choose either this one or this one. They all pretty much do the same thing. These are just examples of what you can do. But I'm going to select this one as a preset. And this is what the text is going to look like as a preset. In my text, I am going to type in all caps, top of the mountain. And you can see that as I'm typing, uh, the design starts to form. Now, we, in this app, we have the option to select a font. I'm going to leave it at prompt, but there's many, many fonts you can choose from um, to customize your design. There's also the color fill, which you can choose. And I'm just going to um, customize that a little bit just to make it um, a little darker. So I'll just um, tweak it a little bit like that and I'll leave it like that. There's also the option to choose the outline of your text and also you can choose the weight um, of the outlines. You can make that outline thicker or thinner. I'm going to leave it like that. And there's also you can also choose the color of the projection, which is black. And you can also choose the depth of that projection. So you can make the projection more noticeable. And you can see that there that it's coming out a little bit more. Or you can uh, go the other way and make it thinner like that. I'm going to leave it at about 38. And I'm now going to go over to the next section, which is layout. So I'm going to click on layout. And these are all the different styles. You'll recall that earlier I said that they all pretty much do the same thing. So you can try out all of these different styles on your own. This is the one I'm using right here. And for the radius, I'm actually going to decrease the radius because I want it to come around like a circle like that. Now, if I wanted to, now if I wanted to repeat that word, I can always, or that paragraph, I can always come back to style and I can press copy and then I can just paste it again. And that will just give me more text to work with. And here, that's what it looks like there. Now, if we just increase the radius a little bit, we'll start to see that come together and what it's going to look like. Now, if we come down here, we're going to notice that there is an option to drag to rotate. And basically what that does is with your cursor, you can actually move that text the way you like. Now, if we put it like that, obviously you're not going to be able to see that it rotates. So you do need to um, have a little bit of a gap between those two areas. So I'm actually going to leave it like that. And maybe I might just rotate it over like that so that that gap is right in behind the man. Or we can also just tighten up the radius a little bit. Now, if you didn't want to have the drag to rotate, you can turn that off and then you could change the direction of the text using the X, Y, and Z axis here. There's one for rotation, there's one for position, and there's one that allows you to scale that image. Now, before we go and place this on our workspace, I am just going to rotate this a little bit so that I can see that it says top of the mountain and, and that I can actually read it. And I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to update my design like this. Now I'm going to take a copy of that image in the back and I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to select my first image and I'm going to set this image as my background. 
I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to position the text. I want the top of the text to be this top part here. And then I want this bottom part to appear behind the man. So I'm just going to um, position the text like this. And I'm going to grab this image right here and I'm going to remove the background. I'm going to grab the man and I'm just going to put him right on top of the first image. I'm going to make that a little bit larger like this. Obviously, I made that a little bit too large, so I'm just going to crop it a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the man inside of the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crop him from the top. So I'm going to grab this handle right here and I'm going to bring it right down until it looks like he's in that circle. So now it says top of the mountain and it goes all the way around like that. Now, if we didn't like the angle of that text, we can always go back into depth text and make that change. Just click on your element, go to rotation, and then just toggle the Z axis to change the direction of your text. Once you're done, click on the purple button to update your design. And once you've updated your design, you can just go back to your workspace and you can adjust the final uh, element by resizing it or moving it as you need to. And that's about it, folks. So what did you think of this tutorial? Did you like it? Did you hate it? You know what? I take all kinds of engagement. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. If there's something new that you want to see, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments as well. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.